Now backstage NBC with Sequest Jonathan Brandis. Well, I've always related this to a film in the, in the sense that it's done like a feature film. It's definitely not only high profile, but it's, it's high proportion. <laughs> I think there's a great uh, sci-fi element to the show this year. I think it's uh, I think it's fantastic. I think there's a lot of areas of ESP and psychic phenomenon that they can be incorporated into the show. It's something you've never seen before in television. This Sunday, Star Wars Mark Hamill is on the trail of a renegade alien in an all-new action-packed sequest. But first, on Tuesday, Frazier spends Valentine's night with a sexy centerfold. <laughs> So attracted to you right now. Former Playboy playmate Shannon Queen. Oh, mommy! <laughs> Tuesday night on NBC. Stay tuned, your local news is next. Jurors in the O.J. Simpson trial take a tour of the crime scene today, and a car wreck in Billings sends three people to the hospital. Those stories and more up next. Now, a Valentine's Day moment with Will Smith. The most romantic thing I've ever done. Well, I think that that would have to be the, my proposal to my wife. See, it was like kind of smooth because I was in Philly and she was in Los Angeles. See, I dipped out. I did the okie doke. I went to Philly because my jewelers I picked up the ring and then I flew back. She thinks I'm in Philly. Uh, see, that's the hip part. She thinks I'm in Philly, but I was actually at the crib. That's smooth. So she came back and when she came in the house, I was there and, you know, I proposed to her and I was under the mistletoe and, you know, I hooked it up. I was smooth. Here it comes. See Will Smith this Monday in a special Valentine's Fresh Friends. Lisa, will you marry me? This Sunday, Charles Barkley leads the best of the West into the land of the suns for the NBA's hottest show, the All-Star Game. I can remember my first All-Star Game, and I'm sitting around with Kareem and Magic and Larry and Michael, Bernard King and all those guys. It's just an unbelievable weekend. Well, they're always fun because you never get that many stars together at any other time throughout the year. Out of the East, Shaquille O'Neal brings a young, determined squad into Sir Charles' backyard to strut their stuff. It gives the fans a chance to see us, you know, just go have a good time. The game's greatest players in the year's most exciting game. Who will prevail? The NBA All-Star Game in my house, 6 p.m. Eastern, Sunday, on NBC. And after the All-Star Game, don't miss the network premiere. Man returns. You have kind of an image of this penguin character already. But just get that right out of your mind, because this is so totally unique and different. I've never played anything like this before. The NBA All-Star Game, Batman Returns. All the action is here Sunday, only on NBC. Yeah. And now, a Valentine's Day moment with Will Smith. The most romantic thing I've ever done. Well, I think that that would have to be uh, my proposal to my wife. See, it was like kind of smooth because I was in Philly and she was in Los Angeles. See, I dipped out. I did the okie doke. I went to Philly because my jewelers, I picked up the ring and then I flew back. She thinks I'm in Philly. Uh, see, that's the hip part. She thinks I'm in Philly, but I was actually at the crib. That's smooth. So she came back and when she came in the house, I was there and, you know, I proposed to her and I was under the mistletoe and, you know, I hooked it up. I was smooth. Here it comes. See Will Smith this Monday in a special Valentine's Fresh Prince. Lisa, will you marry me? This Sunday, Charles Barkley leads the best of the West into the land of the suns for the NBA's hottest show, the All-Star Game. I can remember my first All-Star Game, and I'm sitting around with Kareem and Magic and Larry and Michael, Bernard King and all those guys. It's just an unbelievable weekend. Always fun because you never get that many stars together at any other time throughout the year. Out of the East, Shaquille O'Neal brings a young, determined squad into Sir Charles' backyard to strut their stuff. It gives the fans a chance to see us, you know, just go have a good time. The game's greatest players in the year's most exciting game. Who will prevail? The NBA All-Star Game in my house, 6 p.m. Eastern, Sunday, on NBC. And after the All-Star Game, don't miss the network premiere of Batman Returns. You have kind of an image of this 
Penguin character already. But just get that right out of your mind, because this is ho so totally unique and different. I've never played anything like this before. The NBA All-Star Game, Batman Returns. All the action is here Sunday, only on NBC. Yeah. Mandis. I've always related this to a film in the, in the sense that it's done like a feature film. It's definitely not only high profile, but it's, it's high proportion. I think there's a great uh, sci-fi element to the show this year. I think it's uh, I think it's fantastic. I think there's a lot of areas of ESP and psychic phenomenon that, that can be incorporated into the show. It's something you've never seen before. In this Sunday, Star Wars' Mark Hamill is on the trail of a renegade alien in an all-new action-packed sequest. But first, on Tuesday, Frazier spends Valentine's night with a sexy centerfold. I am so attracted to you right now. Former Playboy playmate Shannon Queen. Oh, mommy! Tuesday night on NBC. Stay tuned, your local news is next. Jurors in the O.J. Simpson trial take a tour of the crime scene today. And a car wreck in Billings sends three people to the hospital. Those stories and more up next. The Big Sky. CBS Saturday. I am a general who's commanding an army of cops. The District is Saturday's most watched show. Look at I'll catch a bad guy. Craig T. Nelson stars. I'm living my dream. I'm a cop. In the District. CBS Saturday. Tonight on Dave, don't miss New England Patriots Adam Vinatieri kicking footballs off the roof. Plus, hardballs Chris Matthews tonight. First, your local news. Coming up next on Eyewitness News 5 at 11. A volunteer fire chief indicted for a deadly training accident. How difficult is it for volunteers to know all the rules? American missiles make a big dent in Osama bin Laden's terrorist operation. And just what will it cost to keep you safe at Destiny USA? I'm Matt Mulcahy. I'm Maureen Green. Eyewitness News 5 starts now. From Hallmark Hall of Fame. Sammy, you're a deaf mute, right? For 20 years, they thought he couldn't hear anything. Helping yourself to the church insurance fund is an act of larceny. So they told him everything. Is my secret safe with you? Now he knows the truth about everyone in town. You ever wonder what's going through his mind? Matthew Modine, Tom Skerritt, and James Earl Jones. Do you swear to tell the truth? In a world premiere movie. I do. Hallmark Hall of Fame's What the Deaf Man Heard. CBS Sunday. Take a late night break with Dave, Tom Arnold, Pittsburgh Steeler, Cordell Stewart, and Elvis Costello. Tonight on The Late Show. First, your local news. New at 11, families of victims react after the FBI rules out terrorism as the cause of TWA Flight 800's crash. An area car dealer gives a rescue squad and the community quite a deal. And how police found a young child missing for seven years. Now, the number... Later on The Tonight Show, a rare Friday edition of Headlines, plus the right wing's nemesis Al Franken and magnifique Cirque du Soleil. Your local news is next. You're watching NBC for New York. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Sue Simmons, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 11. Thousands are... Yes. On Sunday, April 1st, The X-Files returns with all new episodes. And starting next Sunday... We're in position. Their missions aren't impossible. Hang on tight. They just make them seem that way. Full body cavity search. You know them from The X-Files. Is it safe? Just so long as I don't get it near your testicles. Now they're stepping out on their own. God help us all. The Lone Gunman. Series premiere next Sunday on Fox. Winning at Indy is no different than winning at other sports. It's all in how you draft. The world's greatest drivers take to the brickyard for the greatest spectacle in racing. A Memorial Day weekend tradition. The Indianapolis 500. Sunday morning at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific on ABC. A little boy sets his house on fire, then gets his little sister out safely. But wait till you hear what they found in the basement. That story is next. Your news starts now.
I'm Jill Chernikov. Coming up, a jury convicts a local priest of trading child pornography online. Hi, Rich Noonan. The women were undressed and it was all caught on tape. Tonight, an attorney is under arrest charged with rolling the secret cameras. Could the first family's vacation have been cut short by a shouting match between the president and first lady? I'm Gerald Colpad, and if you're waiting for the next Star Wars movie to see robots, you don't have to. Hi, it's Sybil Shepard. I heard you're bringing a new comedy to CBS. Yes. It's about an out-of-work actor. Forget it, Bill. I'm the out-of-work actor. Why don't you try playing a guy who's married to Felicia Rashad? I could do that. The magic is back in Cosby, CBS Mondays this fall. Welcome home. This week on an all-new Tonight Show, Jay welcomes scheduled guests Sandra Bullock, Dana Carvey, and Bill Maher, plus the music of Fleetwood Mac. Your local news is next. I'm Dawn Jeffries. Coming up, two of America's bravest receive a special visit from President Bush. Plus, with a little bit of anger, bring in big bucks at the box office. We'll have your top flip next on News Channel 10 at 11. When you have a problem, News Channel... Next on ABC's Hold Your Breath Sunday, the night that will leave you stunned. First at 9, 8 central. Emma! When a father's betrayal is revealed. What more could happen to surprise you? Hey. Hi. A new alias. Then 10 9 Central. One shocking case. You can't try. Drake will turn this lawyer against his partners and push this man to his breaking point. I'm leaving. A new practice after a new alias. ABC Tonight starting 9, 8 Central. Monday Night Football features the league's most intense rivalry. Brian Greasy and the Broncos battle Jerry Rice and the Raiders. A terrific matchup and historic broadcast. Michaels and Madden are here on Monday Night. Good Morning America's hitting five states in five days. And when you see where Diane and Charlie end up going, you're going to be surprised. Watch Good Morning America this week and Wednesday. What is it about J-Lo and Ben that has us all wanting... Next on ABC's Hold Your Breath Sunday, the night that will leave you stunned. First at 9, 8 central. Emma. When a father's betrayal is revealed, what more could happen to surprise you? Next on ABC's Hold Your Breath Sunday, the night that will leave you stunned. First at 9, 8 central. Emma. When a father's betrayal is revealed, what more could happen to surprise you? Hey. Hi. A new alias, then 10 9 Central. One shocking case. You can't try The this. man was raped. Will turn this lawyer against his partners and push this man to his breaking point. I'm leaving. A new practice after a new alias. ABC Tonight starting 9, 8 Central. Are you ready for some football? The Monday Night Dream Team. The 500th telecast of Monday Night Football features the league's most intense rivalry. Greasy and the Broncos battle Jerry Rice and the Raiders. A terrific matchup and historic broadcast. Michaels and Madden are here for Monday night. Good Morning America's hitting five states in five days. And when you see where Diane and Charlie end up going, you're going to be surprised. Watch Good Morning America this week and Wednesday. What is it about J-Lo and Ben that has us all wanting to know everything? Wednesday, you will. This is too much for me to handle. Diane Sawyer goes for the lowdown on J-Lo. Getting married? Are you getting married? J-Lo, Diane Sawyer. So is Ben the one? This is like being on the front line. <laughs> A special primetime event Wednesday after The Bachelor.